Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazoo. Welcome back to another Knowing Your Skills episode. This week we will talk about the Raven skills alongside Assassin and Chaser skills that are significant to the Raven. We will be talking about Swipe, Fan of Age, Circle Gore and Triple Age. These are Assassin skills. We will showcase to you the usage and utility of Double and Triple Air Hits. For those who do not know, Air Hits refer to the jump normal attacks from the Assassin class. From the Chaser side of the house, we will showcase to you Blade Runner, Break EX, Raindrop, Punishment EX, Applause, Open Age EX, Mortal Blow, Burning Coal, and Excess Chain. And finally, on the Raven side of the house, we'll focus only on Crow's Dead Fall. We will first start off with Swipe. The first thing you need to know is that Swipe works similar to the Cleric Stomping Kick skill. Swipe allows you to attack a knockdown target, which enables the Assassin to connect and continue his combos with normal attacks and various skills. But before we get to that, Let's show you a crucial difference with and without the action speed plate equipped for Swipe. For those that didn't quite see the difference, the difference is in the time taken for the knockdown target to stand up. When using the action speed plate, you can kick immediately after you use Swipe. When not using the action speed plate, you need to wait a split second before you kick. The purpose of the kick here is to stagger or flinch the target which allows you to set up for more combos. Let me show you what I mean. With that, let's show you an example of some attacks that you can connect with Swipe. Ending with Swipe to Fan of Age, we will now dive into Fan of Age proper. The first thing you need to know about Fan of Age is that it is more of a PvE utility damage dealing skill due to its high bot damage and hitting up to 6 times. For PvP, it deals about 800 damage per hit at level 1 and up to 1.5k per hit at level 21. This means that you can set it up to do about 9000 damage at a cost of 23 skill points. The previous Swipe to FOE combination you saw will only hit once. Even when using it directly beside the standing target, the pushback effect of FOE will result in only one hit. It is however still possible to achieve all 6 hits when using it when the target is beside the wall. Let me show you what I mean. To achieve all 6 hits for PvE, you need to make sure that you stick into the target right into it as mentioned by Senpai and Oxton. With that, we move on to something fun and probably new to most assassins in PvP, which is the usage of jump attacks or air hits for combo continuation, especially when initiating from medium to far distances. You can chain between 2 to 3 air hits depending on your distance between your target, 2 is usually recommended if you are new to it, and 3 if you have mastered it in terms of distance gauging and being as quick and smooth as possible during execution. Let me show you what I mean. Know that mastering air hits is very important as assassins have many skills that initiate from medium range. In a proper PvP fight, many of your skills will be first used to bait passive defensive skills from your opponents. When you've finally caught your opponent, you'll want to buy as many seconds as possible so that you can get those damage dealing skills off cooldown to land a deadly punch. And to land those deadly punches, you'll need to make sure that your target remains hittable so that you can continue your combos. So air hits, very important. You'll see what I mean later when Raindrop is showcased, but first, or rather but now, we will move on to Blade Runner first. Blade Runner cannot be used on a flat knockdown target, but can be used on a knockdown target that is lifted slightly. This is called relifting a target which multiple skills of the Assassin class can achieve. Let me show you what I mean.
There are several skills that you can use for lifting targets to connect with Blade Runner. I've already shown Swipe to Blade Runner previously, but now let's take a look at using Raid EX and Triple H to achieve that. You can also use Triple H to hit aerial targets, especially targets that jump dodge a lot. And with this, we move on to Applause EX. With the EX version, you can have an extra hit for lifting targets, making it a very useful skill for initiation. It's important that you know that the extra hit range is further than the initial sweeps range. Let me show you what I mean. For players fighting against Ravens, this means that you don't tumble immediately after getting hit by Applause sweeping motion, but save your tumble for the extra hit. If you tumble behind the Raven and hope that he will not find you, well, you will be in trouble. Applause EX extra hits direction can be changed as well. Let me show you what I mean. That's not all about applause. Sweep motion of applause can hit up to two times. When the target is at the 10, 11, 1 or 2 o'clock position, you will be able to achieve the two hits. When target is at 9, 30, 12 or 2, 30 o'clock position, you will only achieve one hit. Let me show you what I mean. Do note that the double hit applies for the non-EX version as well. PvE-wise, the double hit is easily achieved on medium to large monsters, but harder on smaller monsters. The mechanic behind that is that each chain can hit only once, but if both of them hit and reach the target at the same time, we will only achieve one hit. This is why for PvP, you will want to use it when your target is at a position other than in front of you. For large monsters like Fell Garden and Dragons, you will easily achieve two hits, so basically in PvE, you don't need to worry so much. Coming up next will be Open Age EX. Many players make the error to use Open Age EX by casting it through the target or on the target. To achieve two hits, cast Open Age EX at the foot of the target to achieve both the initial hit damage as well as the explosion damage. The explosion gives you an extra relief and the extra hit gives you an extra 1000 damage. Let me show you what I mean. Open Age EX also has a pushback effect on some monsters, causing them to face you. This also changes the hitbox of their skills which you can use to interesting effect. Let me show you what I mean. And that's all for Open Age, we move on to Punishment EX. Punishment EX has a shifting hitbox. What this means is that the skill targets the middle, and then the right, and then the middle again. There's one hit on the middle, two hits on the right, and then one on the middle. A total of four hits. The middle portion of the skill hits a larger area compared to when it's hitting the right. It results in two hits if your target is actually on your left. To achieve four hits for Punishment EX, make sure your target is slightly to your right at a one o'clock position. And once again, let me show you what I mean. Punishment also gives you airborne status which means that you can actually use it to dodge storm mechanics. You will need to time it as you are only airborne after the first hit. Let me show you what I mean. With that, let's move on to Raindrop. Raindrop's showcase will be simple, which is two ways you can chain two raindrops or more in a row. One of the methods was using air hits for combo continuation, which we mentioned earlier that we will show you.
Now that we are on to Access Chain, let's talk about it. You just need to know three main things about Access Chain. 1. Access Chain has insane range. 2. Access Chain's second hit range can be determined by the player which allows you to cast it both short or long. And last but not the least, you can change the direction of Access Chain. Let me show you what I mean again. With this, we move on to the skills that gives you iframes. For those who are new to iframes, please go watch the Doing Your iframe Skills video. We will start off with Burning Coal, one of the key iframe skills that is available to both Ravens and Reapers, as it is a skill from the Chaser Tree. Burning Coal's iframe lasts as long as the explosive animation but ends once your character does the step back motion. This puts Burning Coal's iframe at just slightly longer than a normal tumble or dodge. You can also use Burning Coal with Air Evasion, much like Air Evasion Slash. But let me show you what I mean. Iframe skill number 2 that is available to both Ravens and Rippers will be Mortal Blow. Mortal Blow's iframe is only at the initial first hit of the skill and ends immediately after. The second hit of the skill has no iframe. Let's take a look again. Last but not the least, we have Crow's Deadfall. Crow's Deadfall's iframe animation lasts for the entire backflip that the Raven does, which is pretty significant and decent by the way, but well, let me show you what I mean again. Okay. Do note that iframe skills like Burning Coal, Mortal Blow, and Crow's Deep 4 are useful for PvE to dodge boss mechanics, but they are mechanics that ignore iframes, so do take note. With that, we have come to the end of Knowing a Skills episode for Assassins slash Chasers slash Ravens. I know that there are certain skills that I have not mentioned, such as Piercing Star, but hey, I won't forget to tell you that Circle Gore can be used on knockdown targets, unlike the Archer's Moon Kick. And for those who do not watch our live stream that happens almost every day, 6 out of 7 days per week, we are live at twitch.tv slash dgaming at 7pm GMT plus 8. And if you watch the live streams recently, you will know that I'm currently sick, so I apologize if I sound weird at any portion of the video. But hey, here's something fun for those who watch to the end to do. If you haven't realized by now, I've said, let me show you what I mean, many times in the entire video. Post in the comment section the correct answer and one lucky winner among the correct answers will go back with a I'm a Moon Lord or a Gladiator t-shirt. Big thank you to Senpai and Noxlin for a large portion of these insights they are showcased in this video. Many thanks to Asius and Clitzaquare as well for helping out to be the dummies as well as sharing some of their experiences with the Assassin class. Next week, we will be doing an episode for the Ripper class and then a Beast Walkers and then Light Furies. Help me out by sharing these videos with your friends, stopping the like button and subscribing to the channel. As always, thanks for watching once again, God bless and I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. 0.3 second like increase. So maybe that's the that's where the variant or difference is where it's causing oh. the, the animation bug. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's what's causing it right now. Oh shoot blow on dash blow, not quite there, but I guess the shinbreaker, the electric smite, oh. but every minute time of fire Mossa, Saving it for the electric smite here, the damage skill here for the guardian. Grand show. Mr. the brave. Oh oh. Oh look at that, half and slash again. Holy crap and the half moon uh half moon slash to line drive, that mm -hmm. is one burst really burst great burst there on the guardian yeah uh oh oh you know what i did a holy boat while oh, the guy's trying to do arrow, arrow combo before what? felt super <laughs> good with a guardian last time you really have to read it wow heavy slash oh this time mossa one step ahead here i'll say 0.3 percent step oh no 0.3 second step <laughs> <laughs> because actually easy was gonna cast a shield blow yep oh my goodness Jesus. Actually, I think that it's okay for easy to use Justice Crash. Crescent yeah. Cleave plus Half Slash easily the same damage. 
Maybe it's more like the Justice Crash to Electric Smite setup. But oh, he has yeah. the Huffman Slash Line Drive setup, so I think it's actually okay. And the Cyclone Slash Custom Mhm. Mm oh. oh. Oh, again. You can see that the, that the delay in the animation. Yeah. Oh, beautiful Financial Flinch. It's quite hard for Guardians to dodge Huffman Slash EX. Actually, you can, but you, you need to be like super good with your jump dodge. Yep. We need Stammy to do that for you, man. Maybe we need Stammy versus Fire Monster. Stammy <laughs> idol, please. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. we attack! It was a bait! Oh. And then an impact punch to the face. Mm-hmm. 2-0 the monster right now. That's the thing about Crescent Cliff. You know last time, right, when you're fighting a Moon Lord, you need to worry about